Only on Local 10, a neighborhood dealing with iguanas, but some say that's not the real problem. Some are concerned that the way those reptiles are being removed really raise some eyebrows here. Local 10's Leanne Woody Hong is live in Margate with the exclusive. Leanne. So we're in Paradise Gardens. This is a senior community here in Margate. Many of the homes have canals right behind them like the one you see here. There is lots of wildlife, iguanas, birds, maybe you hear them chirping now, ducks. And so it's perfect really for boats to come by along this canal uh, and try to shoot these iguanas. Hunting iguanas is not illegal. The issue is that to get to these iguanas, these people have to shoot onto people's yards. And at sometimes neighbors tell me they've actually come onto their property. They are sick of it. I was just terrified at first. Men carrying long guns, riding in boats, walking onto and even shooting into yards. A disturbing sight for residents in Paradise Gardens, a quiet senior community in Margate. I frequently see men on boats coming up with very large guns. The weapons they're using are pellet guns and the men on the boat are shooting iguanas. The only way to shoot them is of course to shoot at our homes. Michelle Kuramochi tells me this is continually happening in the canal behind her home. She also showed me several complaints from fellow neighbors, one who even had a pellet through their back window. My dog weighs 10 pounds. It could hurt me. The way this group is getting rid of the invasive iguanas has become a major concern for these neighbors. One video captured the hunters shooting a large iguana multiple times, even seemingly trying to drown it before it eventually dies. They're supposed to have a clean kill, which means one shot. Last year, we told you about similar concerns from residents in Lauderdale Lakes, where neighbors were subjected to similar scenes behind their homes. Find a way to do it without guns in the backyard. At the time, FWC released this saying in part, it is illegal to shoot any projectile over or across the private property of another without permission, including when on a canal. Michelle says she wants these hunters gone before someone gets hurt. What I would love to see happen is for this safari tourism to stop, and if they do come, go to the Everglades, go to a rural area. So we did reach out to FWC about this particular case. They did follow up with additional questions for us before commenting. We also have an idea of who is running these so-called safari tours. Uh, we are holding off on naming them before we can actually reach out and get their response. For now, we're putting live here in Margate, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.